going to Butlin's Minehead today, aren't we? We will actually get there today, won't we, Mads? Yeah. <laughs> Last time we came down, it got flooded. We had to come down, stay in the hotel. Very, very back. annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of pretty annoyed. So, we are in, we didn't, tra we didn't, we didn't vlog um, traveling down here, because to be honest with you, it was quite hectic. Mad was in a bit of a mood most of the way. Um, everyone was stressed out. I was getting stressed out. Lee was getting stressed out and it just it just wasn't good. We are in the Holiday Inn Express at Taunton East. It's um, on Blackbrook Park <laughs> Avenue, um, about 26 miles away from Butlins. But we haven't got to be out of here until 11. So okay, we, it is now currently 7.08. We're just about to go down for breakfast because it's included. And we'll do a bit of a room tour when we get back to be honest with you it's just a standard hotel but we will do a room tour because it it differs a little bit from a premier inn but not much madison's come back to the table with this for her breakfast so she's come back with baked greens and chocolate muffins lee's got green flakes kenzie's got sausage and bacon madame has got her favorite scrambled egg on toast I've just got a bit of toast. The breakfast, breakfast is all inclusive here, like a help yourself kind of thing. Um, it's not the greatest breakfast in the world, is it? But it's free, so that's why we went for this hotel. Is it? The breakfast is not the greatest here, but it's, it's something. Gives you something to eat. Stop going to get to McDonald's. Oh, that's a good idea. This is what I got for breakfast. I got some toast, the bacon, egg, uh, egg and beans. Okay, I got some cocoa pops. Yeah. Scrambled egg and toast that she did not eat. Did you, boo? Scrambled egg's gross. So that's breakfast finished. That was not very nice at all, was it? No. Did you enjoy it? Huh? It's edible, wasn't it? It, it was okay. As it was kind of as you'd expect. Oh, it is from. a trailer. So, right, guys, we're just walking over. We're in the car park, and there's this like Mercedes motorhome, and it's so nice. Look at this motorhome, guys. If only. Oh, it's got slide outs as well. It's yeah. It's well nice. Yeah. So, there's not much around here. I think there's um, a garage down the road. Huh? But yeah, it's nice. Yeah, there's not much round here. I don't know what this is. There's a harvester over there. Down around the corner, there's like a garage with like chargers and stuff. Albert Goodman, whoever that is. Um, that's Albert Goodman. Um, it's quite quiet around here. Oh, it's nice and clean around here. Yeah. But well, we're about 26 miles away from Butlin, so we're not that far. We haven't got to check out here until 11. Yeah, so but we've stayed right. in this one before. Three or four times, haven't we? This was the one that we filmed. Mm -hmm. Last time, if people remember, we was here. And then we found out that our Butlin's break was cancelled. Mm -hmm. Because it had flooded, if yeah. you remember. So we ended up just Back in October last year. Driving all the way back home again. Yeah, we, we ended up staying the night because, to be honest with you... We'd paid for the hotel anyway, and it was too late to cancel. So instead of wasting 110 pounds, it, it just made sense to stay, didn't it? Yeah. Um, but I'm a bit of a wonder to stretch my legs a bit. Yeah. But yeah, it's nice. But there's the oh, it's a Londis over the over there. You can see it. But 
club. We'll be setting off in an hour or so. Um, just take a slow drive down that way and maybe just look around the shops and stuff. Yeah. Hopefully the weather brightens we've up a little bit. We've got to find but... an Asda on the way anyway. Yeah, we've got to find an Asda, so we're just going to go up and pack everything up. Yeah. Okay, so we're just inside waiting for the lift and then we'll do a, we'll do a room tour quickly. Well, like I said, it's not a massive change from most, most hotel rooms, but um, there seems to be a lot of dogs in this hotel wasn't there yeah. um, which is quite hard when you've got a child that's absolutely petrified of them no babe oh. we want to go to <coughs> no, <we> wake up <laughs> so oh, yeah at least trying to push zero when we're on zero in the hotel room i'm just going to do a quick hotel tour like i said it's not a very big hotel room so basically here's the front door or the entrance of the hotel room and then I'm going to flip you around and show you the hotel. I'll show you the bathroom after because Lee's in the shower. So you come in the door, um, you've just got like a standard door. You put your card in here, aircon and everything's here, all the instructions. Lee's in the shower. You've got um, coat hangers and luggage storage. You've got an ironing board. There's an iron down there. You notice how it's hidden. Um, You've got towels down there, um, standard double beds, bedside lights, lovely aircon unit, which actually works this time. Um, this was a double bed last night when we got here, but um, we put it away because the kids slept in the other room, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, not a bad view outside. Um, like a little wood, wooded area at the back there, don't know what's up there. Um, big TV, desk with like tea, coffee making facilities and stuff, a bin. Um, and then a big mirror on the back of the door. And then if you go through the connecting door, which we opened, we have... Kenzie sitting on his switch, as usual, no, no, don't know anything different, but their room's exactly the same. They're watching Peppa Pig. Um, and then I'll show you their bathroom. So it's just a basic standard bathroom. Um, sink, shaver socket. Um, there's like cosmetic tissues up there. And they're quite big showers and they provide uh, body wash and shampoo but no conditioner um, which is Dove and then you've got Dove hand wash which was actually quite good and then you've got obviously the toilet but this door will close and lock if someone's in the toilet and then that is kind of frosted just close this and that's frosted and then if you open this door like this door you can lock this so you've got basically it's an open plan bathroom it's a very clever idea the way they've done it that's basically it guys there's not really much else to kind of show you but we're heading off in a little while we're just packing everything up have you packed everything up kids yeah yeah, yeah. my kids don't like turning lights off um but yeah other than that it's, it, it's okay it does for the night it's comfortable and and that's the main thing this cost us 160 pounds for one night 160 pound and four pence to be precise um and it's holiday express at taunton east um quite a nice hotel so we are in the van we are going to Butlins. we're going to butlins guys um it's about 26 25 mile drive so not that far we can't actually arrive on site until one but <laughs> but we need to find an Asda and stuff so um, hopefully everything goes smoothly look how beautiful this is guys Hi. the tide's out at the moment it's very pretty it's like sand dunes up there and there's all rocks there but like I said the tide's out and the good thing is the sun's starting to come out isn't it baby so we're just going to go and have a look see what's over here Right, so yeah, just kill some time. Can you just have a rock? <laughs> so we're just walking along the sand dunes. Yeah. Don't know how far we're gonna go. 
I've got all sand in my shoes. Kenzie, stop being a naughty boy. Stop it. Stop throwing them. <laughs> Ken's. <laughs> I said Ken's is going to fall off. His balance is useless. Yay. You want to do it again, Kadia? I'm not. Hop. So you can't do <laughs> balance. Come on, your balance should be good. You're a yellow belt in Taekwondo. So we're just walking up the high street, I think it is, along the seafront. Okay. Um, the lady in front of me was just casually walking along, wasn't she? Yeah, what did he do? What did that? What happened? If a seagull flew down, and actually jumped on Chunk of our ice cream. It was very cheeky. Uh, right. It just literally comes swooping down and just like. <laughs> I think it was going to come back for more, but she was. looking. Yeah, but I think she was ready for it. Cheeky thing. That's, you've got to be so careful with seagulls. Especially down here, seagulls is a nightmare. We've arrived at Butlins, we've checked in, but we can't get into our accommodation until 3 o'clock. Um, it's, it's actually improved quite a bit here, isn't it? Um, we've got an extra resort voucher um, because the pool's partially closed for maintenance or something. Happens to us every time. Um, but we've got a £60 voucher, so that's not too bad, is it? No. What's that for? Like souvenirs? Anything. Gifts and shop. Anything. You can use it in the diner, you can use it in the restaurant. I think the only place you can't use it is Costa. And Burger King, I think. Oh, right. Anywhere else you can use it. So, we're going to give you a quick tour of the Skyline Pavilion. So, this is the, I don't know what they call this, the walk? The promenade? Boardwalk, yeah. that's it, isn't it? Is it called the boardwalk? I think you can use the voucher in any of them. You go through these doors, and you've got. It We've got chopsticks now. I've got a chopsticks. We've got a firehouse grill, which we looked before. It's quite expensive, and it's a, I think it's a little bit like a Nando's, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we've got in on the green. Um, so firehouse is just like it's just another name for Nando's, really. Um, we've got a toy box shop. Personal of your own t-shirts, hoodies and bags. That's where we had your that's where we had your t-shirt done. No, it was there. And then we've got the holiday booking shop here. Sky Park opening summer 2024. Not really trying to make this look like Disney at all, are they? No. Let's take one of these, we'll see what prices they got. Um we've got arcade machines. Uh Teddy Bear Factory. So, the, we'll, we'll take a closer look in there, 28 pounds. And then we've got a bakery. They, they, if I remember rightly, they're actually really nice from here, aren't they? So this is called the Fat Pasty Company. And then we've got the supermarket, Butlin store. Oh, and Lee's happy. Lunchtime, he's got, there's a chopsticks. So, actually bad. prices of the chopsticks. That's not bad. No, it's not. Well, and then, no, added drink oh, on the side. So, so you got one top in, 665, 760, and then add an extra top in for one pound. And then we're just going into the Skyline Pavilion. There's the Butlin store there. As you come in the pavilion from the ball group, you've got a separate stage over there. Um, you've got trampolines, uh, arcades. Yeah, I'm on the, I'm on the, yeah, 
and I won the jackpot on the <laughs> remember that woman walked away? Yeah. And then she come back and then it's like And then I don't want the stage. Okay, so we've come out the other side of the pavilion. We're just gonna go and have a look, see if we can get into the little stars fairground and show you in there. So down there you've got Studio 36, which is new. Uh, and then you've got little stars fairground in here. You can't really see in there. So we are walking. My hair looks a bloody mess. <laughs> it's all over the place. Um, we are walking back to the van. It is quarter past two, um, but we can check into our apartment at three. So I think we're going to do that. We're just going to probably sit in the van until three, aren't we? Because Lee's hurt his leg. Um, it was alright, and then all of a sudden, did you say you pulled a muscle in the back of your leg? Yeah, I just had a really bad He's got both his sticks there, as you can see. Bad shooting pain through the back of my knee. But yeah, so... But... We've got premium dining. And that is from, I think, 4 till 7. 4 till 7.30. Over there is Ocean Drive. That's the food court dining. Huh? Around the front, um, and but we are premium dining, we won't ever do food court dining here again, will we? No, we had a bad experience probably what well, it would have been 2015, 2016, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, we had a bad experience, the food was awful. Food and that, the fish fingers, and there was, nothing in there was nothing, the fish fingers were cooked, they were cooked so much. So much. So there was well, they were fried so much that the fish had just disintegrated in the middle, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just, it was just nothing, it? but they have a kids' station, they have more options, they have like um, walk station, uh, breakfast, have omelette station, station? walk. walk. Um, so noodles and that, and then they have a pasta station in the evenings and stuff. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to that. Looking forward to not having to uh, cook at all this week. We've got like bread and stuff, so we can kind of bake sandwiches and stuff. But last time we come here, I was an adventurous with food. Yeah, and last time we come here, how old was you? Five. Nearly six, wasn't you? And then when we come back a couple of days later, I was I turned six. No, you, yeah. When we got back last time, from last time we was here, she was five, and then a couple of weeks after we got home, she was, she turned six. So we are in the apartment, as you can see from behind me. I'm going to give you a little room tour, and show you around it's not the greatest but it's four nights and i paid 85 pounds so i can't really grumble so you come in the door again which isn't great um you come down the hallway and you have the toilet Hold on. you have the shower Toilet, bath, towel round, big mirror, and then you come round the corner, and you have a twin room, which is Madison and Kalia's room. You 
also have wardrobe. Quite a big wardrobe, actually. See, this is what I'm saying about it. it's not great, guys. All the money they rake in and the state of the fires. That's pretty bad, isn't it? I think that's just rust. Across the hall, you have another twin room. And this is Kenzie's room. Obviously, he's the only boy, so he gets his own room. Um, again, another wardrobe. Pretty much similar. And then you've got all that at the back. And then you come out and you go in here. And you have mine and Lee's room. Which is fairly spacious. You've got a double bed. You go around the corner here, you've got like a little vanity thing with a little mirror. And then you've got a double wardrobe again, all broken. Not the greatest, but you've got an iron up there. Yeah. The noise is the wardrobes, guys. And again, no curtains, no neck curtains. Um, in the whole of the bedroom, we have one plug socket. That we found. Um, didn't think. And then I'll take it into the front room, and then through this door, you've got like a little coat hooks. <laughs> Two's missing, and then we've got the ironing board. Our trolley there. This is the kitchen. We've oh, got. Yeah. We'll turn it on. I don't know if it's supposed to be on. I don't know, try it. Um, so we've got a table with four chairs and then we've got two spare chairs, not that you can really... Um, we've got a bit of a mess here because Mad's made tea. We've got a cupboard with plates, cups, bowls, um, glasses. He's putting the router on. End of that, I don't care. Try it. We've got a sink. We got provided a tea towel. I think there's a sponge and washing up liquid in there. Some rubbish bags. It's got a cook, uh, cooker top and an oven, which we won't be using because we don't. We're not cooking this week. Um, underneath here, you've got. We just got some noodles and stuff. Pots and pans, stuff like that. One of us will have to wait to eat because there's only four forks, but plenty of cutlery. Um, quite a fair size freezer. Quite a fair size fridge. Microwave, kettle, and then this is just all our stuff that we bought with us on the bin. Oh, and there's the TV, which is quite a big TV. So it's it's okay. The, the apartment's clean, but the outside of the building's treacherous, isn't it? Uh, it's treacherous outside. Yeah. They're falling apart. They really, really are falling apart. But like I said, for £85, you can't grumble. Um, the dining actually cost us more than the actual break, didn't it? Yeah. But a lot more. <laughs> we're just gonna chill out here. I'm gonna drink my cup of tea. Mad bought uh, bought me, made me, and then we're gonna go for dinner soon. So we'll bring you along to dinner to show you what there is. Okay, guys. So we are in the yacht club. We went between the two um, to decide what we wanted to eat. Uh, the food looked nice in the yacht club, um, so we decided to stay in here because it's a lot quieter. Mm -hmm. Um, as you can see, there's hardly anybody in here. Um, we went in the deck and had a look, but you can actually go between the two, so you can like get your food in here. Yeah, yeah. We, you can get your food in here and then go and eat in there, or vice versa. And they have like rock stations and stuff. But in a minute, I'll take you on like a tour of like, what they've got. Um, it's a bit hard because it's a bit busy. But I'll show you what the kids have gone for. So I had some pizza, nuggets, potatoes, and sweet corn. Take you for a walk. 
Yeah. Penzi has had, is that your second lot or third lot? Uh, second lot of meatball and pasta. Second lot of meatball and pasta. Nuggets. This one's had one lot. Madison's got a burger, some it's tapers. Second lot, second lot of food. I had pizza nuggets and garlic bread, and now I have potato, sweet corn peas, nuggets and nuggets. And then Lee's got a roast, I think, didn't you? I did, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. What, uh, do, what have you got? I've got roast pork. Yeah. Um, I've got roast potatoes. Yeah. Carrots. Yeah. Um, but they're um, they're not slices. They're like um, baby carrots. Yeah, baby carrots. Sweet corn and potato. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
we're all just really really tired um so yeah i'm gonna end the video here and we'll see you again in the next video for day two so remember don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video Goodbye. stay safe stay happy guys bye